All right, so for today's video, we're going to talk about fasted versus fed cardio. Is there a difference and does one lead to greater fat loss? So let's get started. So the question is, is there a benefit if you do cardio in the fasted versus the fed state? Now, the original theory that this stemmed from was from some studies in the late 90s that said, okay, here's the theory. And it sounds legit. So the theory is that fat oxidation happens at a faster rate when your insulin levels are low. You can expect your insulin levels to be low. Overnight when you've been fasted, you will have um, low plasma glycogen, low insulin levels. So what that means is that because your body has less insulin and glycogen to burn through, your body is much more likely to use fatty acids as the predominant source of fuel during cardio. Okay, theory makes sense. Additional studies were published saying that low to moderate intensity cardio will utilize fatty acids as an energy source, especially if you're doing cardio longer than 45 to 60 minutes. So based off of those initial studies, a lot of people were saying, you know what? Why don't we do our cardio fasted? Therefore, fasted cardio is going to lead to more fat loss. And I want to address, is that true and why? So there was a study done by nutrition experts Alan Aragon and Brad Schoenfield in the and what they did in this study this was done in a lab setting by the Journal of International Society of Sports Medicine they took 20 females divided them into two groups the only variable they were all on a caloric deficit and they were all required to do steady state cardio the one group was the fed cardio group. The only difference was one group was given a shake before the cardio, the other group was given a shake after the cardio. All other variables kept equal. So the thing that's really important about this study and how it was designed is that it used two key elements as controls that if these two elements were not used as controls, it could have led to potentially biased conclusions. So number one, fat oxidation is a training adaptation. What that means is that if you're an untrained person, you haven't worked out in a million years, an untrained person would have a less efficient fat utilization just due to an overall lack of training. And this could lead the to skew the data towards the realm of saying that fascio, facet cardio is actually less effective because the participants are just untrained individuals. And number two, um, in this study, the presence of lean muscle mass absolutely has an impact towards fatty acid fatty acid metabolism. So that means if you have more lean muscle mass, it, the results could lead to showing that facet cardio is actually better and more effective than it might actually be. So before anybody says a study was published and these results were given, you always need to look at the context. And not only just looking at the context, you need to understand the underlying principles that would also affect that because just because somebody had it published in a white paper does not mean it is the end all be all rule of thumb. So you definitely need to make sure that it's being interpreted based off of all their known factors because it's very easy to use statistics to skew data and to twist things to fit the way you want them to be. So in this study, um, what was the overall conclusion was that Yes, everybody lost fat, but fasted versus fed cardio did not have a statistically significant impact on overall fat loss. And I think the important takeaway message here is whether you do cardio first thing in the morning or whether you do it last thing at night or sometime in the middle of the day, that is not going to have an impact on your overall fat loss. But what will have an impact on your overall fat loss is how much food you're eating, and how much of a caloric deficit you're in. Those are the two key factors that are going to have the overall um, in effect. So the thing is, um, anecdotally, bodybuilders do say that you know fasted cardio is a little bit better, and I do believe that there is some truth to that when you are leaner, that it could, could potentially help if you're trying to go from like 6% body fat to like 5% body fat. However, overall, all things considered, all things equal, it's not gonna have that big of, a, of an impact. So what time of day you do cardio is not important. The thing that is important that you choose a time of day that you can do it consistently. I recommend 
fasted cardio because getting it done first thing in the morning is something that is easier to stay consistent with as opposed to moving it around all different times of the day where you may be much less likely to be consistent. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about this topic, please comment them below. And if there's any other topics you would like to see covered, please let me know. See you in the next one. Thanks guys.